Saturday, 27th of February, and we're leaving the boat to go out on a trip with Josh up the mountain. All good bike trips start in a gas station, and that's where we met Josh. Heading on out, beating the Harleys away from the start line. petrol and a coffee stop in series before we headed out into the wilds. Now first up let's give you a clue where we were going. Series we were heading for the Tankler Pad style, that means a road stop in Afrikaans and then from there to the Cedarburg Oasis for a night of fun and frolics and then wend our way back on Sunday back to civilization and much neglected boat jobs. Series is fruit farming country and while they only get between 50 and 250 millimetres of rain a year, seems to be enough to fill the ponds and grow the grapes. Apples, pears, pumpkins, bananas, I don't know, all kinds of stuff. I said earlier there's something like 450,000 kilometres of gravel roads in South Africa so it was a delight to be in tar if only for a little while while we got our bike legs back in again. One thing we really got to like about the gravel roads is there's no traffic on them unlike on tar where you get trucks stopped on corners. Then all too soon the little sign shows gravel road approaching and that was us for the next couple of hundred miles. And this is the Karoo. There's about half a million square kilometres of it. And Karoo translates to mean dry, barren, thirst land. Just as well we were heading for the pad style. Pad style's where bikers go to get away from doing things at home. But we had places to go and things to see, so we headed out after a quick drink and a cool down. And this is how you really should ride a bike, on the gravel. Josh kindly recognised our limits and took us gently up to the top of the Cat Bucky's Pass. It's a lonely old place, the Karoo. You don't see much other traffic. But this gave us a chance to have a look back at the mountains and cat backies. If you look carefully, you can just see the road snaking up, wiggling its way up over the escarpment, over to the Padstal. But this is the way to the Cedarburg Oasis and cold beer. Pass. 
this bit's tarmacked, fortunately. And the path in wasn't. Wow, and look at this. What an amazing view. Absolutely incredible. We still had a bit to go with Josh disappearing into the distance, as was the road. But finally, after a few more kilometres of gravel and passing this rather strange mode of transport, we made it up to Cedarburg Oasis. Excellent stop for the night. in the morning on Sunday, probably the 28th of February. And we will head off back up that fabulous pass, past the vineyard at the bottom. There's a swimming pool in the corner. And this is where we stayed last night. So when you gotta go, you gotta go. Josh is kind of our landlord. He's the manager at the v &A Marina. So he had to get back to work. We got in tow, so we got in our rightful place and tagged along for another day of simply stunning scenery. This video, or indeed jazz music, the scenery just goes on and on and on. And if you're a geography teacher, bring your pupils. There's tons to see in terms of escarpments and geologic folding of the continents and such like. Meanwhile, we're heading back into fruit country and back home. You'll be pleased to know. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give us a thumbs up. If you didn't, try Itchy Boots, it's much better.